Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're painting Filgoria from Green Horde, or also known as Storm from X-Men. So I started off by priming this miniature in Army Painter's White Primer and then moved on to Dark Oat Flesh from the Citadel Contrast Colors. And this of course is for her skin. And like I said in the intro, I find that this one was probably based off of Storm from the X-Men uh, series. Also if you want to save some money on your next online purchase at multizone.ca, use promo code EASTERLING and you'll save 10% off. Alright, so we're moving on to some shyish purple from Citadel Colors Contrast paints. And this is pretty much for the entire miniature. So her robe, her skirt, her dress, her bra, or whatever you want to call it. The whole miniature is pretty much painted in this. And again, because it's white as a primer, contrast comes out really nice and gives it a nice, uh, what would you call that again? A contrast tone, a tone, a highlighting, a natural highlighting. Now we're going to use some Apothecary White from Citadel Colors, and this is just for her hair uh, to be able to bring out some of the highlights. You don't see it again in, the, in here, but uh, in person it's really nice. Now I move on to some uh, Ice Storm from Army Painter, and this is just for the tip of her uh, staff. Now moving on again to her staff with contrast color by Citadel is Wildwood. I like using this on staffs because it has a color of wood that it gives out and a nice, a nice little highlighting at the same time. Then I used a Citadel technical paint called Night Hunt Gloom. And I was hoping this was gonna give like a little um, texture to her staff part that was already done with the ice blue. And it didn't give it what I really wanted, but anyways, it came out okay. Then I'm gonna use some D&D's Marvelous Pigments Paints Bleached Skull, and this will be for her eyebrows, her sandals, and the straps, some straps on her sandals. And I think her eye is a little bit too, if I'm not mistaken. All 
Then we're going to give her a little bit of lipstick with some Pure Red by Army Painters War Paints. Then I'm going to use some Combat Gold by the Zombicide Invader paint set by Army Painter. And this is for like her uh, jewelry. And then I noticed on the artwork, and you'll see at the end, that she had like gold trim around her dress and all that, and on her, her veil, gown, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I couldn't put it anywhere. So I put it at certain spots just to give it a little highlight. But uh, I found that the miniature was a bit different the way it was made than what the artwork showed. And sorry about that, I went off camera a little bit. <laughs> And then I finish off her base with some hundred green, just like the other minis. So that's Filguria painted. 